Greetings, Christ and St. Luke's. My name is the Reverend Noah Van Neel, and as you know by now, I will be your new priest in charge. My wife, Melinda, and I, and our boys, Vincent and Arthur, are just so excited to come and join you in a short time. One of the things that was so exciting to us through this call process, as we talked to people on the vestry and the staff and got to know this place just a little bit, was just uh, what a spirit of excitement and possibility pervaded this entire community. A community that, as you know, has made uh, significant sacrifice and investment in the future. Now, my first Sunday with you will be Easter Sunday, but my first service is going to be Maundy Thursday, the beginning of those three holy days that walk us through the central drama of the Christian faith, that of Christ's crucifixion and resurrection. I want to start that day because there are a few important things that we do during that liturgy that I think will help ground our ministry together. The first is that we receive that great and new commandment from Christ. You see, our Christian discipleship begins where Christ's earthly ministry ends, and what he says to us is, love one another as I have loved you, by this they will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. He says this, of course, after doing a rather shocking thing, a rather remarkable thing, he gets down on the ground and washes the feet of his disciples, taking on the role of the servant, even though he is their Lord and their teacher. That act of humble, loving service is, I think, a good place for us to begin our work together as we are sent out to, to love and to serve those in our world. Another thing that happens during that service is what we call the institution of the Lord's Supper, the establishment of that place of nourishment, the giving of Christ's very self to us, for us, that we may be nourished to go forth and to love and to serve. I don't know exactly where our journey together is going to go. I'm excited to see what the Spirit has in store. But I do believe this. If we begin in that place of humble, loving service, and if we feed ourselves through our fellowship and through our sacramental worship of God, no matter where we end up, we will be in a good place. Pray for us during this time of transition as we will continue to pray for you.